hello guys uh, welcome back in this video we'll uh, try to explore this uh, move tool in photoshop so move tool can be seen in the toolbox topping here so if you are in a different tool you can access move tool just by pressing v on the keyboard okay or you can just click there like that so once you have selected the move tool this will allow you to select any object in the photoshop and it will select the layer basically so you need to click that and you could able to see it selects that layer elements so whatever elements are there in that layer will be selected by just one click so if you could see there is auto select option on and when you click in the canvas it doesn't select uh, by clicking that you need to go to the layers a panel and then you need to click and select them like that so which is uh, uh, not, not convenient for some people so people generally choose to select uh, um, by clicking in the canvas sometimes this can be creating a problem in that case people often select this off so it it is sort of spontaneous we can make it on or off based on our personal requirements so once that is uh, done you can select the objects here okay so selecting objects will allow you to move them anywhere you want and then place them nicely okay and uh, right now these are the layers you have something called groups also so if i select two objects and then press ctrl g then that makes them as a group okay so you can select any particular group and move them like that so here the selection is to the layer so whenever i'm clicking it just selects that particular layer okay but if i just enable this to group it will select the group rather than the layer so you can change between the group or the layer uh, for the selection purposes you have show transform controls feature on so by defaultly you select any object it will show up a transform control option on top there okay so it's only just showing up it's not really affecting the transformations and some people prefer not to do that actually so they just select it and then it's uh, selected uh, you can check that with the layers maybe so what happens if you have this show transform controls feature is on you can select that handles which are there on the sides you can drag them and you can scale them okay like that and also you can rotate them and move them anywhere you want and if i select any other object it's not allowing me to select because you have done some transformation here and what i need to do is i need to uh, accept that or uh, confirm that transformation so for that i can press enter on the keyboard or else i can click this tick button here which confirms the transformation there so you can switch off the show transform controls on or off let's say if this show transform controls is off and you want to transform an object so there are no handles how do you do that you can go to this uh, transform uh, free transform tool which is basically uh, accessed by pressing ctrl t okay so you can press ctrl t and you can access that and you get the handle and uh, if you want to come out of that without transforming you need to click this button that you need to cancel the transform or you can press escape on the keyboard okay anything should do so that's how you transform them okay so while you are transforming one thing is important that if you want to move it precisely side you can hold shift and then it, it generally keeps that in the same alignment okay uh, you can hold shift uh, just to scale proportionally okay let's say if i'm i'm, I'm just scaling this li like this if i hold um, let me uh, if, if I'm scaling like this, if I'm holding shift, it just makes it proportional scaling. Uh, 
keep it as a rectangle okay now when i press ctrl t it doesn't make it square but it keeps that width and height proportions intact it's not making it a square okay it's just keeping the relative width and height proportions okay uh, you need to hold shift for that and drag the corner one while i'm dra dragging the middle one it's not showing up anything there okay so if i'm holding shift i'm able to rotate it uh, 15 degrees there for every drag okay so i can precisely go and then and uh, place it 45 degrees enter if not if i press normal you can able to see it's freely rotating i don't know how much i'm rotating here there is small uh, bubble in which i could see the change of rotation value can be seen 43.6 degrees okay but when i hold shift it generally keeps that 45 degrees thing here and hit enter so it, it it's giving me an increment of 15 degrees for every drag there okay so we have all these layers here okay so what i need to do is i need to uh, align them okay so what's the best way is i can just move it like that and then i can align them okay it's it's actually uh, auto snapping here okay like that so i'm just manually moving them and then uh, aligning them but there is a nice way to do it so what i need to do is i need to select one by one all the layers so how do i do that so i'm holding uh, i just select the first object then hold shift and then select the second third fourth and fifth so i've selected all the objects there and you could see these features are unlocked here if not they were locked actually so i need to select at least two objects to make this align tool work and uh, three at least three for distribute tool to work okay so here we have a line tool okay so there is a line uh, on the top edge of these two objects here so uh, so uh, what happens is when i click this button so the topmost edge of the overall selection will be the line where everything will be pushed to so that so if i generally see um, let me move this for clear so if you see this one is the topmost object and its top edge is here so if i select in any sequence and then click that all objects will be aligned to that topmost edge of the top object okay now here we have this bottom okay so align bottom edges so what that actually does is out of all the objects in the selection the, this is the bottom object and this is the bottommost edge of it and then when i click that it will generally bring all the objects to this one okay so whereas this one is like uh, all objects will come to center point okay so they are aligned that way that's really nice very similarly we have uh, <coughs> this vertical alignment where you are aligning on the leftmost the rightmost and the center in the vertical side so that will be the aligning for the vertical uh, sides so we have uh, the distribute option and distribute option is basically firstly i'll just align it center and you should able to see there is a gap here okay this gap is way bigger than this okay so when i click this button now what happens is the gap becomes uniform okay they become equally spaced so um, let me show it once again clearly first align it and then click this button and then it becomes evenly spaced and there is another option here which is uh, the left edge so there would be uniform spacing from this edge to this edge this edge to this edge no matter how big or how small the objects are so in this case if you could able to see the gap here is bigger and the gap here is smaller but what's actually happening is 
from this point to this point what is the total measurement it's keeping the same measurement with all of them so it's only considering one edge and that spacing okay so you should able to see from this point to this point whatever the measurement is there so the objects the rightmost uh, point to the next objects rightmost point is the total unit and uh, it's taking the same thing uh, for this object to this from this object to that from that object to that so it's keeping that same measurement and it's aligning okay 